Is this that as ready on 37? It wasn't long ago Chef Brian Clevenger was just another cook working the line, but now he goes by another name, restaurateur. Right now we have Vendemia, East Anchor Seafood, Rocolto, Contadino. Brian's yeah. mini food empire keeps him busier than ever, but when he's craving something his places don't make, yeah. he knows where to go. I go to places that offer a very simple approach to, to their product, to their craft. One of those places is inside Seattle's Four Seasons Hotel, Goldfinch Tavern. You're in this oasis of like exposed dark wood and beautiful food and this really refined environment, but with food that's approachable and not pretentious and, and, and really delicious. What I really like about this salad is it's about the lettuce. It's so fresh. Everything about this dish just points you to how fresh the greens are. That same concept moving forward with the king salmon over here. It's so good. I know I don't even have to keep eating it, but it's really good. <laughs> Then of course we've got a grass-fed beef burger over here. It's juicy, it's got the perfect amount of cheese on it, potato bun, a little bit of char. I almost have a little bit of guilt just eating this right now in front of me, but it's so good. For more exotic flavors, Brian turns to a place not far from his home, the Thai restaurant Buddha Ruska. I've been in West Seattle for about four years, and to this day I still come here about once a month. I can't get away from it. Buddha Ruska has been satisfying people's cravings for Thai food since they opened in 2003. Everything on their menu is fresh, starting with one of Brian's go-tos, the spring rolls. So simple, so fresh. It makes you want to take another bite, pad thai. Again, notice the tofu's not fried. Really inviting, perfect pad thai. Next, we've got our crispy garlic fried chicken. Sweet, rich, crunchy garlicky, spicy, but not too much of any of those. I could sit here and eat all of it. Brian's last pick is a place he's heard the words last call more than once, New Luck Toy. The food is delicious, the slushies are boozy, the beer is cold, and they do late night business. Don't let the divey look fool you. New Luck Toy puts out some top-notch food. The three items that I always get, we've got our barbecue pork with mustard, Sesame, our long beans with chilies, sesame, and our pecan prawns. Pecans are a little sweeter. There's a really crunchy texture to the prawns since they're fried. We have our barbecue pork here. Perfect accompaniment is our pickles. Next we have long beans, sesame, chili. Really, really quickly cooked so they have some nice crunch to them. Really good.